Hi, this is Amy, and I would like to show you how to use Autocrat today. So Autocrat is a tool that works through Google Drive, and what it lets you do is kind of similar to what we used to do back in the day with Mail Merge. So if that's something you're interested in, please uh, watch this video because it's really exciting what you can do with this. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our Google Drive and then we're going to create a folder. And everything that we do with this project is going to be inside this folder. So we'll call this Autocrat Example. And uh, you might want to play along with me and do the very same. Uh, another little kind of caveat is that you want to be using only one account. So you know how you can go up here to your name and you can click and you can add an account? <clears throat> well, you want to sign out of all but one account when you do this. Um, it will You'll really much have much better results. You'll have a hard time finding your files as you merge if you don't do that. So here we are. We're inside our folder called Autocrat Example. And the first thing that I'm going to do is create a form. Now, you could also start off with a spreadsheet. Uh, and if you already have data in a spreadsheet, you could use that as well. But what we're going to do today is we're going to create a form and then when that form is submitted, it's going to automatically do something. In our case, it's going to send an email. Um, so you see your form picker, first of all, and I'll call it the same thing as my folder, Autocrat Example. And then you can choose a look for your form that's appropriate for your project. So select one of those and save. And in this case, uh, you can't see it on my screen because I've got it a little too small, but you'll click OK right ben at the bottom of that uh, chooser thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're not automatically collecting uh, usernames, which I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to make people log in to take this example, so I'm going to turn that off. And then down here, I'm going to ask them their name. <clears throat> so I'll just put your name, and I'll ask them to do first name last name. Alright, so that's going to be a text question and we'll make it required. And now let's duplicate that question and let's ask for your email address. Please make sure to include at um, so that they'll put the whole entire email address in there. Now we need that because we need to be able to do something with that email address. Remember we need to send that somewhere when this form is submitted. Um, our next item is going to be multiple choice. So let's pretend that we're going to do an observation. So maybe we have students working in project-based learning environment and we're going to do some teamwork observations. So, so let's do teamwork characteristics observed and let's have this be checkboxes so that anything that we check off on our teamwork observation is going to be sent to the student so that they can see what we saw. So I'm going to add in some options and I'll pause while I do that so you won't have to watch and wait. So I just added in some options here so that as I walk around the room I can see these different options and I can check on the ones that apply to the student I'm observing and I can go back and change these options at any time. So I'm going to make that a required question because for our little example, we're actually just going to have these three questions or four, however many it is. But you know how this works and so you can do this with as many questions as you want. Um, I helped a principal in my district set this up as a walkthrough form. So you could really do this for anything. Alright, uh, so we'll click done here. And now we're going to go work on another part of our project. So we've got our form finished and let's go to view live form so that we can see what it will look like. So this is what it will look like as we're using our phone, you know, walking around the room. We'll see this format. So let's close that and now we're going to go back and we're going to go to our folder and we're going to create the template document. So we need a document for that form data to merge with so that we can send somebody a set of results that makes sense. We don't just want to show them the spreadsheet, we also don't want them to see anybody else's results. We want them to see their own personalized results and um, this is where we'll set this up. So here's our template document and this is we're going to call it the same Autocrat example and we'll call it template doc. Let's click OK. and. Um, at the top right here, let's put dear, and then remember our students put in their name, 
We could also break it up over here so that they put in their first name. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this question and I'm going to have this be your last name and then this next question be um, your first name so that I can have this be in the in the form as just the first name. Alright, so I'm already going back thinking, rethinking what I want in my form and you can do that at any time. So here we are, we're going to do a first name. Alright, so let's take a look at what we just did. We did less than, less than, and then we put some kind of a tag identifier. What this is going to do later on is it's going to match up to one of these questions. So here's the, the name that we're going to, or the field that we're going to match it up with. So let's put in our sentence now. Uh, today when I observed you working with your team, and I'll pause a second and come back. Alright, so I've put a sentence in here to kind of introduce what they're about to see. And now this is going to match our question, which is teamwork characteristics. So I'm going to call this teamwork characteristics. And um, then I'll put a little closer here, so this will be like a letter. Thanks for letting me observe you, um, or whatever I want to put. Now, I can format all this, so I can give it a nice font if I want. Um, whatever I do to it here, this is how it's going to look to my recipient eventually, except obviously these tags are going to be filled in with data from our form. Alright, so now we've got the first two pieces that we need. They're in our folder. And now, if we haven't already generated the responses, we can go back to our form and choose View Responses, and that will generate our spreadsheet. Uh, mine was done automatically because of settings I chose in the past. So now what we want to do is go into Tools and Script Gallery, and we want to find the Autocrat script. So I'm going to type in Autocrat and search, <clears throat> and here it is. I'll click Install. Uh, and now I need to authorize it. It's going to ask for some permissions and I'll choose accept. So now Autocrat is installed and I can close the window. This adds a new section to my menus at the top that says Autocrat. So let's go ahead and just follow the directions on the screen. <clears throat> we'll choose Run Initial Configuration. So the first question it has is what document do you want to use to merge with this spreadsheet? So let's go to choose document from drive and since we have put it into a spreadsheet it's going to be really easy to find. It's going to be the last document that we worked on in this case also. So let's select that and here are the, the fields that our template document contains and this is correct. So we'll save the settings that's sort of just a check to see. And now what sheet contains the merge data? Well this is correct, it's the form responses sheet. So we'll click Save. And now uh, we can just leave this blank. So we don't need to set a condition because ours is going to be on form submit. Alright, so it wants to know now how to match these up. So which sheet header matches this tag from document and of course its first name and then teamwork characteristics is going to match this sheet header question from our form. So let's save mappings now we need to know what we're going to do with the document once it's saved. We're going to save that merged file to docs so that we have a record of it so we're going to choose to save it to a new merge document folder. Autocrat's going to create that for us automatically. And now this is asking us what name we want to give to the file that's created. So let's call it dollar sign and then let's call it your first name. So we'll, I'm just going to hit command C or control C if you're using a Mac and control V. And so that's going to give it a name of the first name that the student has put in or that we've put in for the student. Now I'm going to give it their last name and now I'm going to give it the date because we might use this observation form a lot 
and so we need to differentiate between one and the other. So you'll see in a minute what this does. If this doesn't make sense yet, it's going to actually, um, it's going to make that file have a name that we're going to be able to use to go back later and find it. So now we're just going to work our way through the rest of the settings. What kind of file do we want to create? Well, let's go ahead and create a PDF just so you can see what that does. Let's save the links to the merge documents in the spreadsheet. That'll make them really easy to find and open. Let's email the merge documents and the recipient email address is going to be this tag right up here, your email address. So I'm just going to copy and paste that right in there. And the subject is teamwork observation uh, or today's teamwork observation. And we'll say please open the attached file to see your teamwork observation from today. Alright, the attachment type is going to be a PDF and now this is really important. We're going to trigger the merge on form submit and now way down at the bottom we're going to save the settings. Now we can see some things happening back there in the background and you know I got this error yesterday and I don't know why but I do know that everything continued to work afterward so um, I think it's all good. Not really sure why I'm getting that. Alright, so since we aired out, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now I'm going to show you that I can go back to any of these things at any time. So let me go back to step 5 and let's take a look at it again. So you can see all my settings are still there just like I left them. And so it actually did work even though we got the error message. And I like that about Autocrat. I've had that happen a couple of times, yet my settings are all there. All right, so right now we're just going to keep the settings because we don't have any form responses yet to see this work. But now let's use our form and let's trigger a form response so we can see what happens. All right, so I'm going to fill this out as uh, my fictional student. So let's say the last name is Martinez and the first name is Josh and his email address. I'm going to put in my email address so we can actually see the email come through. And I'm in my HuntsvilleISD.org account right now. And um, let's say Josh did a good job, works well with others, receptive to ideas, and gave great feedback. We'll click Submit, and let's go watch our form responses and see what happens. So you can see there's Josh's content in the form. And in just a second, if everything goes well, we'll start to see these fields fill in. So there they come. There's the merge document ID. Uh, in a second, the merge document URL will also pop in there. There it is. There's a link to the merge document and there's the status. Now let's look and see what else happened. We're going to go back to our Autocrat example file folder. And here is our new merge document folder that Autocrat created. And here is the file that was just generated and sent to our fictional student, Josh. And you can see how these, um, these are the checkboxes that we put in. There's the first name tag that we used. And now let's go and look at our email account. So I'm going to go back over to my um, work email account and refresh. And here it is, today's teamwork observation. And here's the message that we wrote at the bottom of that Autocrat form. And here is the PDF that we just opened and that Autocrat generated. So. I hope that makes you as excited as it did me. I, I think the possibilities for this are just unlimited. So if you think of great ideas for this, please let me know what you're going to do with it. I'd love to share that with other people and um, share your excitement in finding this great tool. Hope that helped you learn something new. Have a great day.